Welcome to section 2, Create Your Interest Calculator. And uh, video number 1, we're going to look at to understand all the mindset prerequisites. Mindset prerequisites for the course. Uh, it's actually very simple. Just be prepared to do some problem solving and accept that your learning will not be linear, meaning every now and then you might not understand fully what you I'm presenting. But maybe in the next slide or the next video, suddenly things will click. And also pay attention to detail. But if you don't, you just watch the video again. And you probably catch the detail, so no worries. And the main thing is readiness to have fun. Let's keep it fun and that's when we'll absorb and learn the easiest. Alright? A simple, sample problem for us. We're going to look at how the APR in credit cards or loans, how does that really translate into interest? Like how much interest does it actually mean if we borrow a certain amount of money from credit card and we slowly pay it down? How much interest are we paying? Same goes for loan. How much actual dollar and cent? How do we minimize the interest that we will have to pay? You can work through it using Excel. That's one way. But I find that if we go through it using programming, it's actually even more natural. The formula itself is not that complicated. So why do we want to do the calculation in code instead of something like Excel? Uh, the formula to calculate APR interest is actually quite simple. But the actual repercussion of the interest is not immediately obvious. And calculation is tedious. But that that's what programming or program is great at repetition and tedious work so the program will help us do the exploration and we can tweak it to our fancy so that should be fun